Hi everybody and happy Halloween. It's Andrea with another edition of the Vegas Cookie. Previously, I did a review about my Dyson vacuum cleaner and I vacuumed my dogs. But today, in honor of my cat lady costume and Halloween, I'm going to show you how to vacuum your cat. This is Stanford. He's a rag doll. He's just about one years old. So you take this awesome Dyson attachment, you pull out your Dyson hose, you remove the long tube section, and attach. So if you can look closely, you press it in and it makes it like a brush. And when you press it back out, it sucks all the hair in. So the vacuum is pretty much empty right now. I will give you a little demo. Let's see how much hair Stanford has that he's been shedding all over. It's really helpful when you vacuum your pets because it cuts out all the dander that's in the carpet and on your bed or on your furniture. And I really, really like Dyson's customer service policy. This hose, since I've had the vacuum cleaner for three years now, it's gotten really worn out. But I called them about two weeks ago, told them the problem, and they sent me another one free of charge. So I totally stand by Dyson and it's an expensive vacuum, but it works awesome. So let's see what Stanford thinks. Meow. This is the first time I've actually vacuumed him. You can see all that hair it's getting, and then it just vacuums it in. You guys have seen this mine. Okay, so for the sake of time, you get the idea. I'm going to continue and do the rest of his body, but you can look in the canister. You already have like quite a bit of hair that would eventually end up all over your floor and all over your furniture, and then you'd have to vacuum it up. So it's nice to go straight to the source, whether you have long-haired cats, long-haired dogs, or short-haired cats, short-haired dogs. It works really nice. They don't really like the sound of it, but he's a pretty calm guy. So I'm going to finish up the job and go out and get your Dyson attachment and meow from the cat lady.